Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Fifth Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, in today's video we are going to look at Euro USD uh, pair and uh, we we'll look at dollar index itself as well. Very important uh, charts and they're showing pretty interesting uh, pattern. I thought I'll uh, try to bring it with you. If you are interested in gold and silver analysis, I have already uh, updated the analysis uh, a day ago and you can check it on my home page and it's quite useful if you're looking into gold and silver trading setups as well it will let you know uh, which where exactly the uh, next important sw swing is heading to be so we are going to be um, looking at uh, the chart very important chart and I think most of you probably already see the labeling in front of you and think where I'm heading so the important point here is that from this bottom we have seen um, beautiful beautiful impulse wave that's the five wave structure very clear five wave structure all right wave four is taken a little more time than uh, wave two actually taken way more time than wave two but you can clearly see that we see these kind of uh, a different behavior in Elliott wave analysis however uh, one can clearly see the wave one and two wave three and four and five and right now we are going through a very very simple correction and that's called a double zigzag structure we can clearly see there is a first wave coming down and there's another pullback which is quite significant and understand that this pullback went up to the double top of previous right over here so if you're looking at this structure it kind of provides the support for the correction as well and now it's pretty easy uh, 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 the next target which is going to be further down so once you look at the previous target we can see that we have kind of penetrated the previous support over here if you say okay this was a false break that understandable uh, and but the next top important target is somewhere around the top of it so at least just above the top of it we can see so I'm expecting um, a swing continuation right from the top and I'm expecting that this uh, behavior is going to continue forward there's also a chance that we can simply label it as a 535 five structure instead of a double zigzag structure and that's what we are I'm going with it I'm going with with a 5 three five structure and this pullback is pretty interesting I was waiting for it to give a definite indication and we have seen a pretty good uh, move and that's why uh, the coming analysis the today analysis up so we have seen a pretty good move on the bearish side uh, and it's indicating that uh, I think that the uh, the pullback on within this swing is over so we can co consider it is as a one two um, or we can simply consider that this, this is wave 1 and 2 and we are looking for a further breakdown wave for wave 3 pullback as wave 4 and wave 5 so I think that will be a better idea right now if you're looking let me have a look uh, we can go back so right now we can see that this labeling is much better um, and it makes sense and then we will adjust the labeling if we have to in the future but the largest thing that I am looking for right now is this one okay so this is the swing I am interested in <coughs> and I think it's gonna present amazing trading setup okay <coughs> so the Elliott wave analysis is enabling us to that we are looking for a sharper move downward a clear one one step move downward and then we are looking for a sizable um, correction maybe after the break of this move when pr prices wave 3 continues and breaks the support right over here and then prices uh, are expected to jump up create wave 4 and then 5 however prices can also come find a resistance at this point and then jump up as well all right so this is also important but this is a very important swing that we are looking at it this is also enabling us to know that there's a possibility that uh, we can actually in the future this is a little too much one we see if we see a bottom there's a possibility that this is not the end of the correction that it started over here that means that will maybe continue going on this world because uh, we are looking at gold and silver and they are indicating that gold is expected to be bearish so while gold stay bearish uh, that means that uh, we are looking for US dollar to be bullish alright so in that case we have to keep that going but for the as for I cannot ignore the pattern right over here and this is the analysis for euro we look at a simple uh, chart in uh, DXY which is almost identical okay and don't worry about these lines okay 
let me go and hide them okay there we go so we can clearly see that if you look at the from the top we can clearly see wave 1 and 2 wave 3 and wave 4 right over here and wave 5 and we can clearly see this swing price is going upward they have already penetrated through this resistance area when it came back with kind of support at the higher end right over here instead of going over here so you can consider it as a five wave structure and we can consider it as a three wave structure or double three structure which is basically a b and c w and then this is an x and then a b and c all right so we can go on a four only time frame and you can see double zigzag as well we have an a b and c which is our w and this is our x and then we have another a b and c which is y so a w x and y we can clearly see that this is we do not have a stronger pullback or completely two divisions we can definitely label it as a 5f structure so a 5f structure followed by a double zigzag uh, is indicating that we are going to see a 5f structure all right the so 535 structure is a fundamental structure in uh, elliott wave analysis a, a zigzag structure so I'm of the point of view that right now that we have seen a bottom right over here and then we shall continue a little more time consuming and then a little more depth is expected right over here because we already penetrated through this one with the swing right over here. So I'm expecting the next target is somewhere around this line right over here. Okay. So this structure is very important as a 535 structure in DXY. In days to come, this is a meaningful swing and that will bring us um, a lot of good trading setups on the bullish side and with euro we'll get trading setups on the bearish side wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye